What's up, YouTube? This is Carolina Calvin coming back to you with another video. Yeah, I know there's big gaps between my videos. Been super busy. Gonna try to put out more stuff. Um, uh, of course, more NFL stuff. Talking about the Panthers. More reviews. We still haven't done the review for uh, the DC crossover, um, the CW crossover, uh, Elseworld. You got Aquaman this weekend. Gonna do a review for that. I think it's this weekend. We're gonna do a review for that and try to put out some try to put out some more videos. As you see, I haven't been doing the NBA, but I've kind of already said I wouldn't do the N, uh, the NBA. But I'll definitely do more NFL stuff. I'll talk about some other teams. Um, you know, once the once the playoffs come around, which is in a couple of weeks, you know, you got your final two weeks, which teams are kind of like jostling around for playoff position and whatnot. But in this video, I'm still I'm sticking with talking about the Panthers. And the question, the question isn't, has Ron Rivera been playing Cam Hurt? We know he has. But how long has he been playing him Hurt? And a lot of people have kind of went all the way back to the Steelers game, the hit by T.J. Watt uh, right on Cam's right uh, throwing shoulder, the same shoulder he injured, um, which pretty much kept him from doing anything uh, in 2016. Yeah, in 2016. And it looks definite like it was bothering him in the, against the Saints. We're talking about a Panther team that hasn't won since week 10. They're the only team in the NFL that has not won a game uh, since week 10. Pathetic. Now, you already know how I feel. Ron Rivera has to go. You know, with all the problems it, it, you know, he has as a coach, you got all these people saying, oh, they shouldn't get rid of him or whatnot. Just look at it. You know, I, I break all that down in multiple videos of why he should, been, should have been gone. I've been saying it for years why he should have been gone. Uh, I do, you know, I remember making a video in 2016. He had the Cam Newton injury excuse. This year, he, they're, he's probably going to make that same excuse. Now, after the Saints game, which uh, Cam injured or not, he was terrible in. Uh, he should have been pulled from that game way before... Uh, they got to a final drive because his his throwing mechanics are off. The arm strength is gone. Uh, for anyone, for the people who watch the games against the second game against Tampa Bay, the hail mary at the end of the half, Cam Newton wasn't even in to make that throw. They used the backup. They used the backup to make that throw. And that right there sure drew red flags and say, okay, is Cam healthy? Because we know. From the position they were on, on the field, he can get that into the end zone. You know, we know Cam has a rocket forearm, and that you know he could get the ball to the end zone in that situation. And they pulled him to put the backup in to do that. So it, it's definitely been a problem in that game. And you know, Ron Rivera knew he's just trying to protect his job. Now I thought you know how I feel about him as a coach, but. The fact that he was playing Cam Newton hurt. And Cam Newton's one of those guys. He he just wants to play. He wants to be a factor. And he'll play through injuries. You know, unfortunately the, that the injury he has is hurting his play. So he's like he's like a lot of players. A lot of players, they're gonna play in the NFL, those guys play through a lot of injuries. But when it's that kind of injury that's gonna affect your ability to play, he has to sit. But, you know, being a guy out there to play, he wants to play. It's up to the coaching staff to say, okay, no, nah, you're not going to play because, you know, we don't want to risk uh, future, you know, making the injury worse. And you're just not able to perform the way you did early on in the season. So at that point, they should have pulled him. He should have been pulled. He should have been pulled weeks ago. Probably should have been pulled before that Tampa Bay game. He should have been pulled weeks ago, but Ron Rivera still played him. And his offensive line hasn't helped him. He's been getting hit a lot. He got hit a lot in the Saints game. Um, you know, A lot of people blame him for the last two throws. Uh, you could say the second one was behind um, Ian Thomas, but there was pressure, so he had to get the ball out quick. It's still a catchable ball. It was behind him. 
but he had to get rid of the ball quick. It was on fourth down. Take it to, You don't take the sack on that. The first one was tipped. I don't see how – well, the one on third down, that one was tipped. I don't see how people didn't see that. But it's, it's, it's the usual. Um, you know, it, Cam's the only player that if, you, you know, you find out he's injured, he doesn't get the injury excuse. Uh, for me, you know, if you're out there, you played bad, you were injured, you shouldn't have played. But – Every other player gets that excuse, especially quarterbacks. They get that excuse. Cam Newton doesn't get that excuse. But, uh, you know, right after the game, the media was all over him. And Ron Rivera, I I can't remember exactly what he said, but he, he was saying something like um, there were plays to be made or some shit like that. You, you're playing your quarterback hurt behind a – because they, they had – they moved some guys around the offensive line. You're playing them hurt. On a bad offensive line, you know, behind that bad offensive line, and with a hurt throwing shoulder, you expect him to make all these kind of throws, and he just hasn't been able to. And case in point, why they finally pulled him because Ron Rivera after that game wanted to play him. He said he, he, and he pretty much said he was he wasn't uh 100 percent on sitting Cam against Atlanta. The team's done. They're not going to make the playoffs, bro. That was their chance to make the playoffs. The defense played great. And by the way, the people pumping up the defense, yes, they played a great game. But they've been garbage all year. If you watch the games, you know that. They've been garbage all year. They had That was their best game of the season uh, against New Orleans. But Ronvera decided to, of course, sit Cam, which was the right thing to do. And honestly... I think the owner David Tepper came down and said, "Uh, yeah, you, you know, um, you 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 saw star quarterback. He's, we're paying him all this money. Can you please sit him? He's not healthy. Your team's not going to make the playoffs. And it was an outside chance, but you still got you got Atlanta, who's always played the Panthers tough, and you got New Orleans at home, who's you know, it in their stadium, they're unbeatable. So." He did the right thing. He said um, Cam Newton back was going to play. And it, it just it just makes my opinion of Ron Rivera even worse. Like, people will get on Cam. And that's one thing. People haven't pointed out. Like, and, and I say this, I've say, said this before in previous videos. People don't talk about how bad Ron Rivera is. Yeah, people say he's an okay coach. No. You know, I know you you see a lot of coaches defending coaches or whatever, but you can't honestly tell me that you you've watched him, especially this season, and he routinely gets out coached, garbage clock management, and even in the Saints game, the Saints game, you're at the two minute you're at the two minute warning, uh, the Saints are on fourth down, yeah, the Saints are on fourth down. Everybody's lined up on the defense. The, the clock is stopped. You have three timeouts during at, at this point in time. He calls a timeout. When you're down three and you know before the guy fumbles in the end zone, makes it a touchback, and gets, gets the Panthers the ball back, you, you got your guys lined up. Even if that touchback doesn't happen, they, let's say you don't get in, you know, you don't – uh, let's say you do stop him, keep him out of the end zone. I think it was fourth down. No, it was third down. I'm sorry. It was third down uh, when that happened. Um, Sorry about that. But still, you stop them, and they what? They kick a field goal. They go up by six. You still can come down the field and hit, uh, score a touchdown and win the game with your three timeouts. He burns a timeout with the clock stopped. If that isn't a boneheaded move by a coach who is one of the worst in clock management, who watches these games, he's terrible in clock management. Combine that with the team on offense, really not. They, they kind of gave up. The game they had this game. They outplayed the Saints. For, you know, for a big portion, you know, they were able to move the ball. Turnovers, turnovers killed them. Uh, Cam Newton interception, DJ Moore's uh, fumble when they were driving on them. They outplayed the Saints. And, you know, they just found a way to lose. You saw no uh, urgency from them in the, uh, pretty much in that 
try, you know, you're trying to drive down the field. You're only down three. You get a field goal. You can't trust Gano, but you get him a chance. They, they, they really couldn't even do that. And him wasting that timeout was huge. It was huge. And it, it just shows you stuff like that. That shows you why proper clock management Proper clock management is something you would expect your coach to have, and it's something he's never had. He should have been fired a long time ago. You know, not only with the not making adjustments, all the other things that come with um, you expect to see from an NFL coach. But kind of going back to the point, he was playing Cam Newton to save his job. And David Tepper, I think, is almost forced to get rid of him. I think a lot of the fan base has finally seen how garbage he is. The fact that you can't protect the guy who's been getting you. You can't protect the guy who's been getting, who's kept your, kept you your job and has earned you all this money, who's gotten you that extension. They're talking about Cam Newton. Cam Newton doesn't get credit for what he does for the Panthers. Yeah, he's had a bad stretch of games. But Ron Rivera would have been gone if this was a different quarterback. And the, the the haters who don't watch the games will tell you otherwise. But what do you expect? A lot of clowns don't watch the games. They don't watch what Cam Newton has to do. He's never played behind a good offensive line. So the coaching staff, GM, they've never put a good offensive line behind him. They put some decent ones. Uh, for instance, in the Super Bowl run, but for the most part throughout his career, he's not had good offensive lines. He, he's had to be a big part of the run game and be, have to be able to throw the ball down the field. And this year, the defense has not played well at all. The receivers are dropping passes. Or DJ Moore has fumbled in big situations. Devin Funches has been garbage. He's been dropping passes. Guys, guys in this particular game couldn't get open. You know, DJ Moore... Good talent, bad route runner, and ball security is awful. Curtis Samuel, another good player. They're young guys, first, second year guys. So they're still getting better as as receivers, and you, they expect a lot out of them. Funches is probably on his way out. And I, honestly, I expect Ron Rivera to be right behind him. And that that's just how I feel. You already know how I feel about that. But let me know what you think down in the comment section. Uh, how long do you think? Ron Rivera's been playing Cam Hurt. Like, a lot of people have been saying Pitts, since the Pittsburgh game. But you definitely know it was a problem uh, with that situation I brought up with Tampa Bay. You knew, you knew that was a problem why he didn't stay in there to make that Hail Mary throw that you know he can make. But if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe. Thanks for watching. Also, might I add that you look at the Panthers who – in the past, have been a team who've gotten the ball down the field. They've had got they got speed guys who can get the ball down the field. Cam hasn't been able to make the throws, and defenses know that. You know, you see these games; it's a lot of underneath stuff. Um, combine that with drops, and guys aren't able to consistently get open. He hasn't been throwing the ball deep down the field as much as he has in the past. Definitely um, in that stretch, especially after the Pittsburgh game. Where the injury, well, a lot of people think the injury was a factor. He hasn't been throwing the ball down the field. If you need any indication of how bad this injury could get, look no further than Andrew Luck. Look at all the games he missed because the Colts kept putting him out there when he was injured, and they probably knew he was injured. But because Andrew Luck is another guy, he's going to go out there and play. But you saw how many games he missed. Because of his shoulder injury. And this is Cam's second shoulder injury. So it makes it worse on Ron Rivera. But that that's all I wanted to ask. That's all I wanted to add to this. It is just Ron Rivera has to go when you don't even want to protect your own quarterback. It's pathetic. But like I said in the, uh, earlier in the video, the detractors don't care. They just want to see Cam have a bad game. Because they don't like him because he celebrates like 95% of other players. But he's the problem. Anyways, I'm out.